This is not a good daily planner in Notion. I'm going to show you how to create an actually good one from scratch. We're going to start by doing forward slash data. Now, instead, we're going to be using databases. Now, if you haven't used databases before in Notion, it's not as scary as it sounds. Basically, a database like this can be seen in either a table, a board view, a timeline, a gallery, a list, and a calendar. And we can use stuff like filters, sorting, and groups in order to view it differently. So we'll start by just creating a calendar like this. So this we can call our planner or whatever we want. So this will be the same thing as our to-do list for today. So here we can see our Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, blah, blah, blah. So if I add anything in today, like item one and item two, I can see them in here and I can drag them throughout the week to any day that I want. But when I am planning out my day in a more granular level, I want to see this day, just this day here, as a list so I can actually time block it out. So what we're going to do up here is forward slash data and click on table view. Now this time we will not be creating a new table, we will be showing this database again. So what I'll do here is search for planner and I can see here planner shows up, the planner which is this database in the daily planner page which is here. So I'll click on that. And as you can see, it's showing me item one, two, and it's showing me a bunch of blank items as well. Sorry to interrupt, I have a course on how to use Notion for productive work. Depending on when you're seeing this, it is either live or it is the waitlist link in the description. And if I add anything in here, item three, you could see that it will show up here as well, item three. Now what we want to do for this planner at the top here is to just see the stuff for today. So I'm going to first rename this table to today. And here, what I'm going to do now is delete this tags item, delete. Now what I'm going to do is click on the plus here and I'm going to click on checkbox. And I'll just do a space here as the name. Otherwise we're going to see checkbox or done or something like that a million times. So I'll drag this here to the side. Now, because we've added that to this database, that is the same thing as adding it to this database. So if I now click on item three, for example, you can now see the checkbox is sitting here. Now to this database here, which again is the same database, but what we want to do to this tab of this database, so this today tab here, is to add a filter to it. So I'm going to click on the filter icon here, and we are going to add a filter where the start date is relative to today. And then we say this week to this day. So now I'm only seeing item one and two, which is item one and two down here. And if I drag item one here, you can see item one no longer shows up here. So this will now allow me to plan out my week a lot easier. Before it was way too messy and we can't actually use data. Now we are using data in here. And what you can even do is connect this if you want to your Notion calendar by clicking opening calendar. I have a separate tutorial on that linked in the description. But if you don't want to use the Notion calendar app and you want to time block in here, then what we can do is click on the plus and there is a bunch of different ways that we could do time in here. Now I prefer just doing text and having time like this. So I'll do time here and I'll drag date to the very side here. We could even do right click hide in view because we know that today is just going to be the today's ones. But if you want an easy way to change this item, so let's say item two, you no longer want it as part of today, you can then just click here and change it like that. So we wouldn't have to scroll down, but I'll just drag these two items back to today. So here, what we can do now is say, this is 7 a.m., this is 8 a.m., and this is 9 a.m. So we can plan out our day here and we can plan out our week here. So everything is connected and talking to each other. And if I wanna add any notes to item three, I can write them in here. This is something that we don't have an option to do with the normal table setup. Send to Bob when you're done. So I've added a note for myself on this specific to-do list item. Now here we are seeing the day as a list and we can tick these off like this as we go along. But maybe down here, we will want to know which items we have completed and not. So what we can do is click on these three dots here on this one, so on the actual calendar one, We'll click on the three dots and we will click on properties. And here I can say, which properties do I want to be able to see before even clicking on one of these items? So I can say, I want to see the checkbox. So I can click on that. And now I can see item one has not been done. Item two and item three have been completed. If you want something a lot more connected that also uses projects, life buckets, time tracking, notes, resources, dynamic journaling, and so much more, then check out Headquarters. It is my premium template with over 1,400 users and a five-star rating. Click on this video here to see the full tour.